Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech Focus Trending. Please subscribe to my channel Tech Focus Trending. Uh, today I am going to discuss about Spring and Spring Boot. And currently the Spring Boot, Spring and Spring Boot are uh, existed projects are implemented with Spring 5 and Spring Boot 2 as of now. Now this November, November month of 2022, the latest releases for Spring and Spring Boot got released. Spring 6 and Spring Boot 3 from Spring 5 to Spring 6 and Spring Boot 2 to Spring 3 got released and there is a lot of features got um, included in these latest versions guys and I am going to discuss about all these uh, latest versions whatever got included in this uh, Spring 6 and Spring Boot 3 uh, whoever are planning to or uh, like migrating their existing projects Spring 5 to Spring 6 and Spring Boot 2 to Spring 3 these features will be very helpful to them and uh, what are the features are available you can just check in those features guys see here are the lot of um, <coughs> features got uh, included in these two releases Spring 6 and Spring Boot 3 and here we can see that Java 17 the latest uh, Java version of the uh, Java version is Java 17 java 17 support already in spring boot 2 spring Boot spring 5 we have support with java 17 they are just continuing with the same java 17 support without any compatibility issues and also records there is a records keyword in the java 14 uh, to make this some of the uh, uh, classes as a immutable things uh, immutable classes we need to create by using this record keyword also we can uh, <clears throat> there is a, we can see some uh, text blocks to create multi line strings like as of now we create only strings as a single line like hello hello world like the single line we can create we want to create multi lines we can normally we'll do what we'll do we'll append the operator we'll use the append operators so now with uh, this text box we can create multi line string without using this plus operator that we can see how it will create in the slides and all also switch expressions uh, there is a <coughs> switch evaluation expression uh, to provide um, uh, a case kind of uh, uh, expressions kind of uh, expressions guys those i'm showing in the slide next slides also pattern matching there is a instance of operator how it will deal with these uh, pattern matching things also sealed classes and interfaces how we can permit um, some of the uh, parent classes to make only uh, limiting the inheritance thing inheritance operation by using the sealed classes also there is major change jakarta 9 jakarta w9 like means java j2w9 it got changed to jakarta w9 means java or the, some of the import statement package import statements got java x2 it changed it to jakarta got dot x guys so this is a big change and there if you have any code changes there we can see a lot of uh, code changes with this uh, package changing guys also with the native executables we can see in the uh, spring and all there is a aot generators we can use some plugins for to that uh, uh, spring 4 and spring 5 with some aot pl generator plugin will use now with this spring 6 uh, executables you need to you can there is a uh, aot generator auto generator will be available we can see that one how you can generate spring boot also observability apis uh, to uh, get some metrics and uh, um, some of the calculations things we can uh, using this observability APIs we can uh, use this observability API guys also we can see some of the Kotlin, Kotlin library versions got uh, upgraded versions 1.7 plus Lamba 1.18 Gradle higher version 7.3 plus also some smaller changes in spring MV, MVC side guys the like HTTP method uh, kind of enum class is there now that is no longer be enum we make it as a, some instanceable class we can create instance of that enum also also some HTTP exchange annotation for client uh, for declarative HTTP client interface also we can see some of the problem details API for uh, from the HTTP side some also they drop drop some outdated features and third party integ integrations also you can see these overviews one by one here already I told Java 17 support got continued with the latest version spring 6 and spring boot 3 also without any compatibility baseline issues and all also records I already told there is a data repos objects DTOs DTOs are there normally in Java you can create data transfer objects to carry that data from one layer to another layer so there is a record keyword is there with this record keyword what we can do we can create these immutable dtos already we can create dtos by using this record keyword we can make some uh, dto as immutable so uh, that is the main uh, reason to include this record keyword guys from java 14 onwards there is a already told text blocks to create multi-line strings instead of creating single line string with ML and we can append operations we can do the multi-line string by using this text blocks also you can go with the switch expressions like creating uh, to evaluate some uh, uh, switch uh, switch case guys we can use this uh, switch expressions uh, 
with without using multi if else operation multi list if else operators they are using switch case construct like this this switch expression guys and we can go with the pattern matching what is the pattern matching again is this pattern matching is a regular uh, what we can say like uh, instance of operator to evaluate this pattern matching by using this directly with the instance of operators to come uh, to do some uh, lower case upper case some other and other pattern matching uh, operations will do with this uh, uh, new newly implemented pattern matching guys and so we can go with this uh, we can see some of the sealed classes interface i already told there is we can it will permit the inheritance of the parent class to like you can see in this example a uh, pet permits only dog and cat only two of the inheritance is possible by using this sealed class um, also jakarta double e9 i already told you j2w uh, it was java x uh, dot star that package what uh, what was there in earlier now it got uh, exchanged to jakarta dot star it's a big change to wherever we have find this uh, java x dot related http server text we need to rem rem remove that and we can include this jakarta dot server dot http server request guys it's a big change also we can see some of the native executables i already told in the first slide itself some of the aot generators uh, it was there we need to use uh, normally some uh, plugins earlier here. now we can generate by using the spring boot aot generate automatic generate indian spring boot aot generate and here yeah, observability i'll be told some observable observations api it used to matrix for micrometer and tracing the data also uh, from the application data there is this auto perfect observations api will use from <coughs> latest versions of java uh, spring guys also we have some small changes i'll be told in the web mvc that http method earlier it was enum uh, enum class now it is not no longer be enum it will become as a uh, instanceable class like hd method dot value of we can create some object also and if you these are the basic uh, are all lot of um, features main which core features got uh, included in spring 6 along with spring boot 3 guys so if you whoever wants to migrate from spring, spring 5 older versions spring 4 spring 5 to spring 6 and spring 2 to 2, 3 so they are going to include these features and they are going to implement these features along how they are going to implement some migration steps they are providing here some of the basic steps I'm providing, some other legacy configurations, how to uh, involve the deprecated code and use this in legacy file configurations and migrate to Java 17 and all change those Java W uh, Java X to, to Jakarta W9 compatible releases, guys. So this is the basic um, and the core releases, guys, from uh, this month only. They got released, they released only November 2022, the spring 6 and the spring boot 3. So, still a lot of uh, this not yet started this uh, latest versions. So, whoever wants to uh, start with these latest versions, these features are uh, I'm going to pro I'm providing, guys, to understand. So, that's it, guys. That's it for today. And uh, please subscribe to my thanks for, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe to my channel, Tech Co Streaming. Yeah, I will come with uh, some good concept uh, next my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to Focus Training.